Hello everybody, it's Hopper Town here, we're back with more poetry. Today we're going to talk about more favorite girls of mine from games and anime and other things. We have Nami from the One Piece series, the lovely sexy navigator to Straw Hat Pirates. Uh, we have Azuna from the Legend of Unemployed Ninja series on the Nintendo DS. There's two in the series, highly recommend playing them. They're very hard games, they have great music, great gameplay, it's Pokemon Mystery and Dungeon, same exact gameplay as that, it's just a little different obviously because it's made by different developers, but it's the basis of randomly generated dungeons um yeah randomly generated dungeons and then it's all like kind of like grid based gameplay but it's very fun it's like one of the few like strategy all grid based gameplay games that i actually like so we have bandetta or i should say cereza is a real name and Banetta is what she's actually her nickname and what the name of the series she's from is the sexy umber witch so we're gonna start with nami Beautiful redhead, a sexy navigator, can control weather. She can control weather with her staff, known as the Climb Attack, that Usopp, which is another Straw Hat pirate, gave her. And she can basically just use that. She's not the strongest of the Straw Hats. I do think you're Robin, which is what I did for another video. She's stronger because she has a Devil Fruit. Nami's just an everyday girl. So, she's not a... She doesn't have no, like, oh, she was gifted powers from eating a particular item. So, but she's still strong in her own right. She's the one of navigators. She guides them on their way. So they don't get lost in sea. So, and I think her dream is to actually like map the whole world of the Grand Line, which is where the the treasure of Jolly Roger is at. And if you get that, you become the King of the Pirates, which is all the whole point of the you know series. That's Luffy's dream from the beginning, as to become the King of the Pirates. So, and Nami was there since the beginning. She was in the first volume of the manga. So she didn't join the crew right off the bat. She became she came after Zoro. So, but yeah, we got Zuna. Cute sassy ninja, eh. Azuna, cute sassy ninja, has beaten gods by herself. Powerful badass. Like, the first game you, I mean, both games you face the gods of different designated regions. Like, I think the second game the gods are from a different area, but you're, it takes place in Japan, so it's a lovely Japanese culture themed game, which if you love Japanese culture, you highly appreciate that game. The first game, Azuna faces the gods by herself. And she beats them into submission. She doesn't kill them, she just beats them, puts them in their place. So she's gotta be pretty, really strong if she can beat gods just like that. So, but yeah, and we got Cereza, Bayonetta, Sex a sexy umber witch, uses hair, demon powers, dancing seducer. So, her clothing is actually not a clothing, it's actually her hair. And she uses it as a catalyst to use her powers and summon demons to basically fight. So, and then the demons are literally made of her hair, like it's some, it opens up a portal and then her hair becomes the demon self. So, and again, because it's her hair, she's actually not wearing anything. Like, it's literally her hair, the, everything that she's wearing besides, yeah, the, the guns on her heels and her hands. is literally just her hair. Whenever she summons the demon, she's more or less naked, obviously they censor it, so you, you, they have it cover up her lovely spots that you can't show a nipple or show genitalia, uh, genitalia or it's the end of the world for people so but yeah and she also has like the whole bayonetta series is highly sex appeal like like even her character like is the embodiment of like sex appeal which she was made on purpose to be like drop that gorgeous and again for sex appeal and even how she like when she faces enemies she like tortures them and plays with them in like a seducing manner and she doesn't obviously have sex or anything in them, but she's it's just basically like it's just pretending she is. It's again highly matured. A lot of sexual window window of those games, but they're really great games. It's a hack and slash adventure game. Really awesome. I highly recommend the games. So if you can, can handle the sex aspect of the game. But yeah, and then the music that's playing is from Azuna 2. It's the first dungeon's music. And the music again in the Azuna series is awesome. I highly recommend listening to the soundtracks of those games. So, they're both great, it's just a matter of preference. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this video. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and a great tonight. Bye-bye!